Week nine in the bag, baby. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of a Project Bestseller Weekly Recap. This is going to be the week nine recap. I can't believe it. We are nine weeks done. And let me tell you, we got some exciting announcements to be shared from this week. But if this is your first time listening to a weekly recap, welcome. Project Bestseller is my challenge where I attempt to write and launch a nonfiction book in less than 90 days before my 30th birthday. So this was an exciting week. I'm really, really excited to dig into this. So let's just jump straight in. Now, this week, we accomplished a lot, all right? And there were the ups, there were the downs, but overall, I feel very, very good about this week's progress. And I really wanna share not only my progress, but I wanna give you a couple tips once you get to this part of the process. So the first thing that we did on Monday, and you know Mondays, we are grinding away. We wake up excited for this. So Monday, I reviewed the final ebook file, all right? Then what I did was I reviewed the paperback formatted file. So Really big thing to note here, your eback formatting or your ebook formatting, excuse me, is much different than your paperback print formatting. Okay. They are different files. This is really, really important. So I reviewed my ebook, boom, done, feeling good. I reviewed my paperback and we actually noticed a few formatting errors that needed to be fixed. And this was just because this was the initial layout. And we were missing like a parentheses. And when it transferred, when the formatter transferred, and this happens, okay, this is why you review this. But what basically happened was he kind of set it up so I had an idea of how it looked. And then I noticed that instead of like a percentage or something, it was supposed to be a parentheses. And sometimes these little things happen when they're transferring the format. So I caught that, sent it back, and it's all good. It's all good. You'll see how this process evolves. And then I determined the launch date. And so I'm really excited because the launch date is December 13th, which will be on day 87 of this challenge. We are actually going to beat the deadline and wow, this has been a wild ride. Yeah. All right. So let's go into Tuesday. Tuesday, we reviewed the file, uh, the final formatted files and confirmed it. All right. We confirmed it. What I also did on Tuesday was I ordered two paid promos so that I could start building out for the ebook. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to use paid, paid promos. Now these paid promos aren't Amazon ads or Facebook ads or Instagram ads. These paid promos are to people that have email lists, that have connections, that have audiences in the book space that are specific to your particular niche. So I grabbed a, a couple of these paid promos that I schedule in advance and I made that investment. Now I'm not spending thousands and thousands of dollars on this. I'm just spending money here and there. You know, one of them was 10 bucks, another one was 30. You know, it kind of depends on what type of promo you're going for and what type of investment you want to make. I updated my bio on my Amazon author page. Since I'm already an author, I already have an Amazon author page and I just needed to update my bio and claim the right books. I then added my categories to KDP, which basically means I said, hey, Kindle, hey, Kindle Direct Publishing, hey, Amazon, can you change my book categories from where they're at to these 10? Now, these 10 categories are the ones that I think I have the best chance at ranking number one for bestseller once the book actually comes out. Then what I did is I submitted my final files to the cover designer for the back cover. Since we had the book being done, now that I had the formatted book done, I could send the page count to my designer. Amazing, amazing. All right, Wednesday. Wednesday, I made sure that the categories were fully updated. I caught one more typo and sent it back. Um, But the good news here is that even though I found this typo at this point, the good news is that I had already sent the, the page count to my cover designer. So they started working on the back cover. Now, while of course I don't want to keep finding typos, it's really important at this point that I'm refining it. You know, I have a little bit of time. So I really wanted to do another check and another check just to make sure everything was transferred correctly. Um, And because we are going so fast through this process, I anticipated us having a couple more errors um, just because we're going so fast through this process. And when I wrote this, we were going fast. When I self-edited, we were going fast. So I I, I expected at this point in the process to have a couple more errors. And so I'm really glad that we took the time to, to go through this. Thursday, Thursday was exciting again. 
finalized the formatting, went through it all again. You'll notice that this week, a big theme was reviewing the formatted files. Now, I want to make this very clear. Normally, if you go a little bit slower, you will catch these or uh, in advance, or you will catch these quicker um, than how we caught them. Because we are moving so fast through this process, and I even talk about this in the book, but sometimes you go so fast because you want to be done that you make obvious mistakes. This is like when I was a little kid, right? I was in seventh grade. I wanted to just go play sports, but I had to do my homework first. And so I would rush through my homework as fast as I can. And sometimes I would make a mistake and I'd have to go back and do it all over again. And so I think this is a really important lesson for all of you to learn as you're trying to write a book is you're never going to be faced with a 90 day time frame. You're going to be faced with a time frame that, that you want or a challenge from someone like me. And so what I would just recommend is as you go through the process, it's always better to have something done right than to have it done wrong and to do it again. This is a different concept than done is better than perfect, okay? And we won't go too deep into that because these are the weekly recaps, but I just want you to know this. If you're writing your book, it's important that you focus on getting it done right rather than just getting it done as fast as possible. When you can combine the two, that's where the magic really starts to happen. So on Thursday, I checked in with my back cover. I started to review the details of my launch timeline, and I started to think about what could I do for a launch party that wasn't a full-on launch party. Now, here's the reason why I'm starting to think about this. Normally, I would do a launch party. Are you kidding me? Have a party, 30, 40, 50 people, come give my books away, get all this content. It's amazing. But the truth is, is that because of the time that we're launching this book, it's going to be on a Tuesday. The weekend before is my girlfriend's birthday. The weekend after is my 30th birthday. So I really only have a couple opportunities to do a launch party. And so instead of doing a big, big launch party um, right now, I might, I'm going to do something a little bit smaller. I'm going to do something a little bit smaller, still build some hype, but then maybe in the new year, once I'm back from the holidays, I may do like a welcome to 2023 book party. And that will be a little bit of something that I'm thinking about, but we're changing up. We're trying new things. And that's what it's all about. The cool thing here is we're going to be able to get the book out. And the book is going to be amazing, okay? We've had some people read it and they are like, holy crap, this book is everything I ever wanted to know about books. Fast forward to Friday, all right? We're at Friday. I started writing a lot of the email campaigns for launch week and I double checked with the back cover team for update. Something that I want you to know from what happened to me so far this week is your book will move as fast as you can move it. So. Sometimes you need to follow up with your editor, your designer, your formatter, okay? You'll have some predetermined dates. When you work with an editor, there typically be a structure. When you work with a formatter, there's typically a structure, a timeline. But sometimes you need to check in and you say, hey, look, what's going on? What's the update? Sometimes you want to be a little bit more forward and I'm a huge believer of the follow-up. So not saying you need to be annoying and be like, is it done, is it done, is it done? But sometimes you might want to just check in, um, especially if you're making updates and just be like, hey, you know, for our cover design, I'll give you the example. I'll just like, hey, I just wanted to check in on the status. I know you said it would be soon. Can you give me a little more clarity on what soon would mean? Is it hours or, or days? I just want to uh, know what my expectation should be. I just wanted to get a better gauge of it. Um, and lo and behold, she said, it's going to be very, very soon. Wait, get it, uh, get it tonight, get it tomorrow. And I was like, okay, cool. So now fast forward to, to Saturday and... Um, I approved the final cover design. I got it back. I approved it. It's done. Voila. Mwah. Beautiful. And I ordered the proof copy. So I wasted no time. This is another amazing tip that I want to share with you. I knew that once I had the cover design done, I would be ready to essentially publish my entire book on KDP up to the point of ordering a proof copy. Okay. Now proof copy is a copy that you get. There's a big uh, label on it that says not for resale so that it's not the official book, but it will show you a teaser of what you could expect from your book. And here's what was really cool. Because I had already filled in all the information that I had at this point in time, once I got the final cover design, all I had to do was upload the cover design, push yes, essentially push save and order proof copy. And I was able to do that super, super quickly. And I expedited my shipping and I should have a proof copy uh, before Thanksgiving, which was pretty incredible, um, considering when this, when this, uh, aired, when this, when this went out and when I got this thing and then Sunday I relaxed, I rested and that's the nine week 
update. Now, I feel like I did a lot this week, but here's what's really cool. Here's what's really cool. We did it. You guys, nine weeks in, we did it. The book has been submitted. The ebook has been submitted for pre-order. The paperback has been submitted for proof. All I'm going to be doing now is getting ready for the launch and building up some hype heading into the final couple of weeks of this challenge. So now, as always, let's talk about the time invested in here. Because you might be going, Jake, this took so long. Like, how much time did you spend this week? You did a lot. You reviewed the book. You got your cover design. You uploaded it. You talked to KDP, all of this stuff. Well, Monday, I spent 60 minutes. Tuesday, 56 minutes. Wednesday, 50 minutes. Thursday, 50 minutes. Friday, 32 minutes. Saturday, 20 minutes. And Sunday, I spent the goose egg, zero minutes. All right, so the total time this week, this week was four hours and 28 minutes with an average of 38.28 minutes per day. All right, four hours and 28 minutes this week. That is much, much, much less than an hour a day. Actually, it's 38.28 minutes per day. And the total time that we've spent on Project Best Seller at this point is 51 hours and 38 minutes, which is a total of 48.4 minutes on average. So I really want to share something here before we wrap up and I tell you what the plan is for week 10, okay? Is that writing a book is exciting. Writing a book is exhausting. Writing a book brings up a lot of emotions, but writing a book is very doable, no matter what your schedule is like. Remember, I've been on the road a lot. I wrote my rough draft in 17 days, okay? It's day 62, 63, 64, and our book is ready to be published. All right, so, so I want you to know that this is very doable. Now, I also want you to know that I don't expect you to be able to move at the same exact pace that I move. One, because I already know what I'm doing. I've already done this three other times, so I know the process, and I've helped countless other people go through this process. But what I do expect is you to know that you can get this done, okay? And if you have the right help, if you have the right support, doing this becomes believable not just believable, it becomes something that you can actually do and get it done in a reasonable time frame. Almost every one of our clients that listens to what we actually say gets their book done in about six months. All right, four months, five months, six months. That's what we see. Okay, so it is very doable and you can do this while running your business. So let's talk about the goal for next week. Okay, the goal for week 10 is simply put, I'm going to get my proof copy. All right. That arrives the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I'm hoping to get it. I'm either going to do one of two things, approve it and we're going live or not approve it and make some tweaks and, and, and fix it and do that as soon as possible. If it is good, week 10, we're going to publish the paperback so that I could order author copies so that I can start buying copies of my book so that I can have them for whatever launch party alternative that I decide. Then I'm going to work on the social content and calendar. So basically what I'm going to do in week 10 is I really want to start dialing in, you know, I have the email campaigns, but I want to make sure do I have the right social content prepped. So do I have reels filmed? And I want to just make sure that I'm dialing all of that stuff in, uh, or do I have the right graphics so that when book week comes, we're not stressed out and overwhelmed and we're actually ahead of the game. So that being said, week nine, bada bing, bada bang, we are done with week nine. This is flying by so, 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 so fast. And I'm so, 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 so excited for you to actually get your hands on your book. All right. This will be coming out on December 13th. The book goes live December 13th. And I'll be sharing more behind the scenes things as we get closer. But I want you, if you've ever thought about writing a book, watch what I do during the launch. Watch the emails I send. Watch the text I send. Watch the posts I make. There's a strategy behind all of this. All right, I want you to see that it's possible because your book's coming out in 2023. I know it, you know it, and we're about to make that thing happen. So with that said, have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next weekly recap.